Hi everyone, this is Yuki again. I'm gonna tell tell you all about reborns and what I like about them. A reborn DAO is a handmade art DAO created from a blank kit or a manufactured DAO that has been completely transformed by an artist to resemble a human infant which is most with as much realism as possible. The process of creating a reborn DAO is referred to as reborning, and a DAO artists are referred to as reborners. Reborn DAOs are also known as lifelike DAOs or reborn baby DAOs. The hobby of creating reborn baby dolls began in the early 1990s, when doll enthusiasts wanted more realistic dolls. Since then, the industry and community surrounding reborn dolls has emerged. Reborn dolls are primarily purchased online, but are available at fairs. Depending on craftsmanship, they range in price from hundreds to thousands of dollars. Some consumers of reborn dolls use them, to grief, use them to cope with their grief over a lost child, a memory reborn, or as a portrait doll of a grown child. Others collect reborns to would regular dolls. These dolls are sometimes played with as they of an infant. Critics debate whether reborn dolls are harmful or whether these dolls can help in the grieving process because of their realistic appearance. Reborn dolls have occasionally been mistaken for real babies and rescued from parked cars after being reported to the police by passersby. Social issues and reactions. The overwhelming majority of reborn customers are older women. The process of buying a reborn can be done to simulate an adoption process rather than the prosaic sale of a product. As part of this, the dolls often come with fake birth certificates or adoption certificates. Many women collect reborns they would a non reborn now. But so others purchased them to fill a void of a lost child and may treat reborns as living babies. Media features and public receptions are used such as as creepy to describe the reborns. This could be explained by the uncanny valley hypothesis. 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 This states that as objects become more lifelike, they gain an increasing empathetic response. To a certain point at which the response changes to repulsion. Department stores have refused to stock the dolls because of this reaction, claiming they are too lifelike. Many reborn owners are simply doll collectors, others have experienced miscarriage, stillbirth, or neonatal death, but have no means for adoption or suffer from empty nest syndrome. They may utilize the dolls as a substitute for a child. Some owners trust the dolls, wash their hair, they may even take them for walks and strollers and take them shopping. Reborn hobbyists refer to the emotional response to holding their dolls as cuddle therapy. Still, studies suggest cuddling the baby releases hormones which produce a sense of emotional well being, and some psychologists believe that this may happen with realistic dolls as well. Consultant psychiatrist Raj Prasad. Explains that mothering a real newborn baby releases the hormone oxytocin in the mother and hypothesizes that this may explain why reborn mothers become emotionally attached to the reborn baby now. Now, what I like about them. 
I love cuddling them, feeding them. I breastfeed them when I want to. Or chest feed them. I change their clothes. I take them on walks and I take them to stores. I put hats on them and they'll set booties and shoes. And they all have their own names. Bye. Love you, fam. Don't don't forget to like, sub and to like, comment and subscribe.